Yes, lads, welcome back to the channel. I woke up today and I thought, let's give the boys a new tactics video, yeah? So let's just get straight into it, lads. All right, boys, so the formation we're rocking with is a 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. I've had a lot of success with this formation recently. It suits the little tick attacker pass, pass, pass play style, lads. So two cams, two CDMs, two strikers, your standard four at the back, your goalkeeper. All right, let's get straight into the tactics, lads, all right? Personally, I like my width to sit just slightly above 50. This is to cut out all the people that like to run down the wings, these little annoying little nerds, all right? Um, depth, I like to keep it at 60. I don't want to go as far as like the casual 71, uh, but I like my place to be a little bit up the field, all right? Um, I don't know, I just find it works a bit better for me. Um, actually, I like it to be balanced, balanced, and direct passing. I find that when you're looking to have very good passing um, build-up play and you look at the key possession slow the pace down this is the best uh, chance creation to have all right direct passing balanced build-up play balanced defensive style whip i like it lower anywhere between 42 to 40 um again this is to bring the cl players closer to one another so they can do little quick passes even easier the short passing game I like loads of players in the box. I either go for eight or seven. I'll put it at seven for now. Two for corners, two for free, kick, free kicks because most of the time I come short from corners or I just score from free kicks anyway, so I don't need people in the box. Instructions wise, I like to have my strong, fast striker on getting behind stay central. The other, person, the other one to be a target player. In this case, both of them are strong and fast, so I've just chose one of them to be target player, one to get in behind. Your cams need to come back on defense. Make sure they've got a high, high work rate if you can. Um, and the other thing that's important for your cams is to get into the box for crosses. So they're making runs into the box. And you'll find that if your cams have very good work rates, they're up and down, up and down, creating chances, all right? Your CDMs need to be cutting, cutting the passing lanes, staying back while attacking, aggressive interceptions, covering center, the both of them. Um, your fullbacks need to be on stay back, but you can also put them on overlap. For when they want, feel like it's right to do so, uh, center backs obviously stay at the um, stay back while attacking. Uh, I like them also to be aggressive, and then I put a come out for crosses on my goalkeeper boys. Um, so yeah, uh, this particular formation combined with these tactics has given me a lot of successes and allowed me to pass the ball really well in my matches. I always have between like 90 and 95 pass accuracy. Uh, and it just lets me do a lot of damage in my game. So boys, try this formation out, try the tax tactics out, try the 4 2 2 2 out, and let me know in the comment section how much damage did you do, all right? And most importantly, lads, if you like the video, drop a like on it. Let me know in the comment section uh, what tactics you wanna see next, uh, what video you wanna see on the channel moving next. Uh, drop a sub to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.